Hello and welcome to TYT Sports on this Monday morning. Steve Ho, the Chief Operating Officer, Heather Ankeny, and once again, my father, Ben Mankiewicz, are here. So uh, let's talk about this game, the Iron Bowl, as many like to call it, Auburn against Alabama, ended in a way that I'm not going to lie, and I know that you guys are going to rip on me. It's totally fine. Uh, I predicted that this would happen. Get I, out. I get had. Get out. Oh, God. get out and just clean that up. <laughs> really? <laughs> It's okay, I didn't like that anyway. I feared, personally, and by the way, we were going to Pinstripes, a fantastic place, a family event where we bowl, and uh, one of my sisters complains about being there. <laughs> and so, basically, what I saw, Slingbox, by the way, best invention ever. I'm oh, watching yeah. on my phone. I'm giving the play-by-play -play to my parents. Did you watch it on your phone? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay, side conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, basically, we're watching on the Slingbox. It's a 66-yard field goal for a redshirt freshman. Why, like, why kick? Why not just run one more play? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 56. 56? 56? 50, oh, excuse yeah. me. Robbie Gold was 66. 56 yard field goal for a redshirt freshman after their first kicker missed three, and I understand that. But it's, it just seemed too far for a freshman. It seemed way too far. Now, of anything, what I thought was this, this could easily turn into Devin Hester against the Giants, where he just runs it back for 190 yards, and that's exactly what uh, happened. Well, I think you're, you're you're criticizing the wrong thing. I don't think it matters whether it's a redshirt freshman, but kids got. I mean, that might help. You know, a kid who yeah. hasn't missed before. He doesn't. He's not sort of plagued with. He doesn't have the jitters any more than anybody. So you anybody. were okay with them kicking the field goal? No, I wasn't because it's a 56-yard field goal, and there was seemed to be, as far as I know, he had no indication that he could make it from 56 yards. That what well, the mistake obviously was is if you're going to try that field goal now, as we've seen in the NFL and now in college, you need to have guys on the field who can cover a kick. Uh, you can try it because if he makes it, you win. And, it's a, and it seems most of the time it's a free play. Gary Danielson made that point first, uh, not to take credit away from you, Benjamin. I'm sure, well, I'm sure I, you thought of it. I'm just saying he made that point and it was spot on. Yeah, yeah you got to have. I, I, uh, you uh, went to a great extent while bowling, um, <laughs> which I want to hear more about. Um, My first game was good. My second one was terrible. Um, there you go. That, uh, the, how much trouble you went to watch it. I. Uh, with the score 28-21, with about five minutes to play, thought, I'm going to take the dog to the dog park, Idiot. and I'll listen to it on the radio on Sirius, because I have the Sirius oh, on my phone. You heard the Auburn call? Couldn't find it. Spent oh. the whole time at the dog park trying to find it. I could find anything. I could listen to Providence take on the University of <laughs> Gladsboro in college basketball, but I couldn't find that game. Providence played Kentucky yesterday. So I missed it. I just that Auburn did. call was really fantastic, too. I listened to keep off the field yeah. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I heard it later, but I didn't. Uh, so I missed it. I missed it and literally heard on the radio when I found some college football wrap-up show, heard them say, that may have been the greatest college football game ever played and the greatest finish you will ever see. And I looked at my dog and I beat him. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That really man. was a, a game for the history. Yeah, that was for amazing. Sure. Great. Yeah. 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 The reaction to see it and think, you know, how wonderful that it happened uh, in their stadium. Uh, that's Jordan Hare, right? Jordan Hare Stadium. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just the crowd, you know, the crowd, you can, you can see the place shake. And the, it was yeah. so loud. Now, I know, that, I know that Steve has a very. Uh, I Interesting take on college football. On so college just go football ahead. Until they bring in the playoffs. I couldn't possibly respect that more. Don't they I mean, think it next year? Is that next year? Let, let, let's know. no I'm reason not to talk not about, pay attention to the talk about anything until they bring the playoffs. Let me tell you, I, I, I agree Are with you Steve. Are going to clean that up, by the way? It's distracting. Yeah, we're doing a show. It's so, distracting. So we'll do it later. Well, you don't contribute anything. So, um, okay, so go. Here's, the, the, here's why Steve is right. I mean, I'm going to talk about it, but we feel exactly the same way about it. Last night, as I'm watching ESPN's guys discuss it very thoughtfully about how the numbers might move and if uh, Ohio State is unimpressive in the Big Ten championship game against Michigan State, but Auburn is impressive in the SEC championship game, how there might be a, they might close the gap enough in the polls to affect the computer, and Auburn can pass Ohio State next week. All of them saying that that should happen because Auburn has played such a more difficult schedule than Ohio State. The Big Ten, not a very good conference this year. Michigan sure. State, for example, is in the top ten. They haven't played anybody. And this conversation exists as if Florida State somehow has earned the right to be number one. I completely agree. Like, it's random. They both went 12-0 and in their schedules. Why is it not relevant to Florida State? Because Florida State started the year ahead of Ohio State, arbitrarily, completely, and now they're still ahead of Ohio State, who arbitrarily. Who's the toughest team that Florida State yeah. played? Either way, either team? way, the no argument should be settled by four yahoos sitting around. And the notion that the yahoos who make these choices are yeah. any less yahoo-y 
is ridiculous. <laughs> They're all the same. Now, I got it. They may know more, but we, in no other sport, would we dream of settling it based on a conversation of a bunch of Jews, <laughs> including you guys. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's just dumb. It's just dumb, 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 dumb. Uh, Florida State, their last, uh, you know what? I'm just going to read the games to you. Nevada, Bethune, Cookman, good. Boston, Co <laughs> Boston College, Maryland, Do you to them on their who they beat 63 nothing. Clemson was the hardest game when, when Clemson was really good. North Carolina State, that was a kill. Miami, that was a kill. Wake Forest, Syracuse, Idaho, Florida, and they end with Duke now in the ACC championship. For Duke. I bet on Duke How on Saturday. Um, 12. Uh, yeah. But Ohio State hasn't beaten anybody either because the Big Ten's not that good. Yeah, the Big so, Ten's not that good. But it doesn't matter. Like, that's what it is. And so here's a way to settle it. A playoff <laughs> system? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have them play each other, and then the team that wins, and I think it should be eight teams, as I'm sure Steve does too, instead of four. But four's a start, and it's way better. And the argument of the fifth team, each time you move it back and include more teams, the argument over some team screaming to get in is mitigated. Right now, next year, you'll have the team that's number five saying it should have been us. That's a lot better than the team that's number three. Uh, when it's number nine saying it should have been us, that's a lot better than number three. So uh, it's a silly, dumb, embarrassing system. And, and thank goodness it, it's going to be gone. Yeah. And next thank year. goodness it's going to be gone. Yep. And if Auburn's win over, over uh, uh, whoever that, Missouri, is impressive enough that they somehow pass Ohio State randomly, but not Florida State, that is just dumb on top of dumb. <laughs>